Hello, today is the day. In a few hours' time, one of these novels is going to be crowned the winner of the 2022 Women's Prize for Fiction. And soon I'm going to be heading out to go to the celebration and the announcement of this year's winner. And I want to take you along and film as much as I can so we can all enjoy in the celebrations. Luckily, it's a very sunny day outside in London, bright blue skies, uh, which is good because the, the celebrations are actually held out outside in the center of London, in the center of Bloomsbury, in this beautiful square, uh, but it's all outside. Uh, so yeah, that, that's a very good thing. And I've got my new floral shirt uh, to wear to the occasion. And obviously I'm very excited to find out which uh, book will, will win and which author will win. But honestly, this is just all about fun and the, the joy of literature and books. And I know it sounds like quite corny, but I, I feel like there are so many celebrations like the Jubilee recently, and there's often big widespread sports events, uh, but there's not too many occasions when we get to get together and celebrate literature. And I've enjoyed so much discussing this year's lists and all the, the books that have been nominated or were eligible for the prize with all of you and all the long discussions I've, I've had with Anna James because obviously I do have some some preferences and if you watched our most recent discussion and, and prediction video we had quite a long talk about all six of these books and discussion about them and so you know my top choices to, to win would be Great Circle or Sorrow and Bliss but, but honestly I would be like quite happy to see any of these authors win and obviously it'll be a really big like boost in their career and 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 a wonderful thing for for them personally but but yeah it's just gonna be so lovely to be around bookish people and celebrating books so uh, so I'm gonna head off and film what I can and yeah let's just have some fun So recently in London, everyone has been really excited about traveling on the brand new Elizabeth Line. Now I've realized that it's probably safest if before going to the party, I line my stomach a bit because I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go have a number of drinks and then be really hungry. And on my way home, I'll stop for a shameful McDonald's or Five Guys or something like that. So I'm gonna go to one of my favorite restaurants first and have some yummy vermicelli noodles and tofu. So I'm almost at the square, but I do have a spare moment to stop and make an annual visit with my good old friend, Virginia. Hey, Virginia, how are you doing? Do you have any tips of who you think might win this year's Women's Prize for Fiction? <sighs> Virginia never talks to me, but anyway, <laughs> off I go to the party. <laughs> So I found a lift ship hawk. Um, we are at the party, and uh, yeah. So how are you feeling about everything? Ah, it's um, so exciting. I feel very honored. And uh, yesterday we had the reading, so for the first time, all five authors, sadly, uh, Luis uh, could not join us, mm -hmm. but we were able to come together and we were able to listen to each other's readings, and it was, it was very joyful, very supportive, there's a lot of sisterhood here. Yeah, you know, and, uh, it's not so much a competition, it is it? It's just a celebration. It's incredibly inspiring, so very, very, you know, happy and honored to be part of it. Ah, that's wonderful to see. Um, 
but yes, good luck for tonight. And uh, yeah, it's very exciting. And congratulations on your book. I found it so moving and inspiring. And yeah, it's, it's such a, a wonderful story of love and friendship um, like through strife. And yeah, it's, I, I just adored it. So thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Here at the party, and the announcement is going to be very soon. So we're going to angle our way to the front. I'm Anna, and lovely Sana. Hey. Yes, having a drink and wait for the announcement. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, fellow writers and readers, and welcome to the 27th Women's Prize for Fiction. Yay! tonight to celebrate extraordinary, beautiful, breathtaking novels on our 2022 shortlist and the wider work of the Women's Prize Trust. Here, you are among friends, but anyone who talks will be sent home <laughs> without a goodie bag. Um, since I last stood on this stage nine months ago, millions of people, I mean really millions of people, have engaged with the Women's Prize both online and in the real world. Will you please welcome to the stage the chair of the 2022 judging panel, Marianne Seacott. Thank you all for coming. This has been an incredible year for fiction written by women. And I'm deliberately not calling it women's fiction because it's fiction for the whole of humanity. <laughs> Covering the human condition in all its glories and horrors. So it's also been an incredible process reading all the submissions to the prize in the past nine months. And I've been blessed with a wonderful judging panel who are all here tonight. Lorraine Candy, Anita Setti, Pandora Sykes, and Dorothy Coomson. And they are all great writers themselves and come from a range of backgrounds and genres. So that's hugely enriched our discussions. And I really want to thank Dorothy, Pandora, Anita and Lorraine for their commitment, their hard work, their integrity and when it came to the choosing, their amicable debate. <laughs> <laughs> because to narrow 175 books, all submitted by their publishers as the best of their lists, down to 16 was hard enough. There were books that we loved that didn't even make the long list. And to choose six from 16 was more difficult still. And as for choosing the outright winner, it could have been agony, but thanks to everyone's determination to be generous in their approach, we made it through without a scratch. So thank you very much. Now the final six are a wonderfully diverse range of stories, subjects, settings, and authors. Meg Mason, Sorrow and Piss. Ruth Maseki, The Book of Form and Emptiness. Elif Shafak, The Island of Missing Truth. Maggie Shipstead, Great Circle. You've all been waiting for, it's time to announce the winner of the Women's Prize for Fiction 2022. The winning book, we felt, stood out for its originality, its sparkling writing, its warmth, depth, intelligence, humour and poignancy. A celebration of the power of books and reading, it tackles big issues of life and death and is a complete joy to read. Ladies and a few gentlemen, <laughs> the winner of the Women's Prize for Fiction 2022 is the Book of Form. <laughs>
and, and we are, right? <laughs> we are. Um, I, I really wanted, uh, I want to thank, uh, you know, there are so many people who are behind me and we can't do it alone. Um, so I'd first like to thank um, my Canongate publishing team. <laughs> We all know J.P. Bing, and he has brought the fun back into publishing for me. <laughs> Jenny Fry and Anna Fry. And Aisha Clotten has just been such a support the whole way through. I want to thank um, Viking Penguin, my, my publishers in the U.S., Paul Slovak and Andrea Schultz. And in Canada, Nicole, um, Nicole Winstonley and, and Deborah. Sun de la Cruz, um, who have been really supportive. I'm a I'm a dual citizen, so um, the, you know I am supported on both you know on both sides of the border. Um, my agents, Molly Friedrich and Lucy Carson, unbelievable dynamic duo, and Caspian Dennis, who is here tonight. You know, it's kind of embarrassing because one of the things when, when one is nominated for a prize, one does have to think, you know, what if, right? And so then you prepare a little speech, right? And then you think, I, I'm never going to give this. Um, but one of the things that I've been thinking about a lot is how I would not be here without the support of women and women's institutions. And this is, this is why this prize is so important to me. All my life I've been supported by women and women's institutions, and all my life I've been trying to give back. And so this is one of the reasons why this is so important. I went to one of the oldest existing women's colleges in the United States, Smith College, because, because Sylvia Plath went there. And, and when I was little, I thought, I really want to be a poet. But while I was at Smith, I learned that my true love was writing fiction, and I was supported in that. Um, now I've returned to Smith as a professor because I wanted to share that love of fiction with a, you know, the up and coming generation of young women's writers. And um, I just, I'm a firm believer in bootstrapping, that women have to support each other and bootstrap each other. One of my students, Layla, one of my students, Layla Motley, just turned 20 today, and her book, um, Night Crawling, she's in town right now promoting it, and it um, was just the Oprah pick. She, and so this is, When I decided at one point that I wanted to be a filmmaker, um, I uh, received fiscal sponsorship from Women Make Movies, another institution that supports women's voices, bringing women's voices into the world. And I then served on their board for many years. Um, later, you know, when I wrote my first book, um, it was acquired by Carol DeSanti who is, um, was my classmate at Smith. And she supported me through the first three books um, that, that I published, the first three novels, and I couldn't have done this without her. She and I started a conversation about literature when we were 18 years old. <laughs> and we've continued, she's one of my oldest friends. We believed in, we believed in the old girls network, <laughs> even when we were really young. <laughs> And, and the last part of my my old girls network that I want to mention is Hedgebrook Farm, which is a not-for-profit women's writing retreat center on Whidbey Island on the west coast of um, of the country. I, I after my mother's death, I um, had a serious uh, writer's block. I just I couldn't write, and the um, women at Hedgebrook kind of took me in. And um, and it's really because of them that I'm able, you know, that I was able to finish um, my third novel, and and I, it's why I'm here today. Um, so I just, again, you know, this is a, another women's institution that has just been, you know, that is working hard to do exactly what we're all trying to do here. So I just wanted to, I wanted to call out the names of the the women who have supported me and the institutions that have supported me because. Now more than ever, as, as Kate so beautifully said, it, it, this is you know this is the time 
that we need to speak out and, and you know, we need to rewrite somehow the dominant narratives that have landed us into quite dire straits. And it, this, this prize has never been more timely. And I just thank you and <laughs> Bessie thanks you all too. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it uh, for the formal part. Uh, the Bailey's bar is open, the bar bar is open, the shop is waiting to take your money. And the final thing, there are fewer men than there are women here tonight. Uh, but they're the same number of loos. So women, use the men's loos. See you next time. So we have had the winner, yeah. and it's quite a surprise. A winner, which is always fun when it's something that people aren't expecting. You can hear us, they were introducing it. Everyone's like, oh, oh, what's <laughs> this going to be? Yeah. Yeah. So, so fun. Yeah, I, 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 I was, when she started talking about like love of literature and books and stuff, I was like, yeah. it's a sentence, but. Right. It, it was, a, yeah, it was a real, it was a fun one. I liked it more than you, so. Yeah. It wasn't necessarily my favourite, but I'm not mad at it winning. I like I really did enjoy reading it and she did such a beautiful speech. Really lovely speech. Yeah. I was like I, I did get a bit cheerful like Yeah, and very much in the spirit of like, the prize and felt like the room was really like it was hard not to root for her here in her speech. Yeah. So um, I'm happy overall. In a bit of a as we talked about, like a little bit of a strange year in terms of trying to like cohesiveness of this, but I I'm not I'm happy. Yeah. Although we are standing in front of uh, Yeah, still still giving our support for a great shirkle. Yeah, which I'm still the opportunity to go and say that. It's good, yeah. Good. Have you met any authors or spoken no, to anybody I here yet? Well, I mean I've spoken to people here. Well yeah, of course yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just been standing by myself. <laughs> but I haven't spoken to any of the authors. Uh, I never know what to say, honestly, uh, even though I know, I mean, I, I was like, I never know what to say to authors, I, I'm an author, but... I but no, it's especially know. tricky now after it's been announced. Yeah. They didn't win, you, didn't really, you don't want to be like, oh, oh I loved your book. Tough luck. I don't know, but... maybe, maybe, <laughs> we'll anyway, maybe, maybe we should go and find, let's go and find, we're going to go and find Maggie Shipster. Well, great. This has been, uh, yeah, really wonderful. Um, yeah, please let us know what you think about the results. Yes. Uh, and... Uh, what, it's like, I feel like it's like Anna and Eric checking out for another year. <laughs> yep, I'm sure we'll be back <laughs> soon. It's, it's like January, isn't it? It's six months. Yeah, very soon. So, cheers. <laughs> So I'm on the train home and I've got my goodie bag uh, leaving the, the party uh, which is filled with a copy of the sentence. Uh, I think everybody got a different copy of a shortlisted book and a copy of Grazia magazine and a Bailey's bottle. I'm still a sponsor of the prize, although they're not, you know, the, the title sponsor. And a uh, meringue, which um, is called Two Chicks. I think it used to be a whole chick, but seems to have got crushed in the back. But uh, it was a really fun, lovely party. Um, we had wonderful conversations with people. And then I got to meet Maggie Shipstead, which was a really wonderful experience. I kind of was tentatively standing at the side. I saw her talking in a group of people and, and uh, caught her eye and then just kind of came up and uh, timidly introduced myself. And she was really lovely and wonderful. And I did confess that I pronounced the name of her book and her own name with a bit of a slur saying, Great Shirkle by Maggie Shipstead, <laughs> which she found very funny and endearing. Um, she said, at least you didn't uh, say it was the Great Circle, um, which a lot of people get the title of her book wrong and call it the Great Circle rather than just Great Circle. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, but Anna got to meet her too and took a picture with her separately. And uh, and we had a lovely chat with Kate Moss, the, the founder of the prize. And yeah, it was just such a great evening and such a wonderful celebration with bookish people. And uh, yeah, the winner was a, a surprise, but um, such a wonderful, lovely, a uh, heartfelt speech. I'm so very happy for her. So, uh, so yes, uh, my train station is getting uh, near. But yeah, uh, thank you for following the prize with Anna and I this year. It was a really wonderful experience, and I really got so much about discussing the books with uh, so many different people and getting different people.
people's feedback and it gave me such a different perspective on these these novels so it was a wonderful experience so uh thank you for for watching and i hope you have a good evening and i'll speak to you again soon bye bye